information do you have, Engineer? Still in the process of gathering data, Command. If I'm a Command. Can you read me? Can you read me? With cell phones, Wi-Fi, and radio, we hardly think about how difficult it would be to communicate over long distances without them. What do you do when your ability to communicate is hindered? That's when creativity and ingenuity will come in handy today, tomorrow, and forever. Say, engineer, could you help us construct an IR communication device using materials our viewers can get their hands on? Of course. This might help the both of us. Infrared transmission is exactly how your TV remote sends commands to your TV. It's incredibly simple, it's low cost, and in the right circumstances can work over great distances so long as there is a clear path between the transmitter and the receiver. Here's what you'll need for our project today. A Raspberry Pi single board computer, an infrared transceiver, and a small display to create this communicator. Well, actually, you'll need two of everything to communicate with a friend. We're assuming you've installed the Raspbian OS on your Pi already. If not, here's a link to an article. We'll start by attaching the transceivers to the GPIO pins of our Raspberry Pi. We need to write a script that takes short messages and codes them and blinks the infrared emitter appropriately. For the encodings, we'll be using Morse code. There are other encodings we can use, but Morse code is simple to program and widely understood, which makes it ideal for emergency communications. We're using Python for the programming language. There are a ton of resources online to help you translate alphanumeric characters into Morse and back again. We've implemented it in the provided code, but for a challenge, you could try writing your own. The code we're writing is constantly checking the state of the receiver, looking for pulses that translate to valid Morse code, and if it sees any, they appear on our screen. Then if we want to send a message, we type what we want to say and hit enter. The code will temporarily stop listening in order to pulse our transmit LED and send our message to anyone listening. Now that it's fully constructed, we can run the program to start communicating. Ready to send a message, engineer? Absolutely. Let's see how this works. Now, we can talk to someone over pretty far distances, so long as we have a clear line of sight and there's no other sources of infrared. Strong sunlight might interfere, so this is best at night. Projects like this aren't about teaching you how to make cool gadgets. It's about showing you ways to think around corners. Each obstacle has a solution, and your job is to find a way to the other side. No one knows what our future holds, but no matter what, you'll be prepared. See you next time.